Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. I'm Charlie Walker, world-renowned low-rated duelist and closeted homosexual. And today, while I'm cooking up this delicious uh, burger, I'm going to be teaching you how to cook the perfect recipe of fajitas. Mmm, delicious. Just like this deck. It's beautifully crafted, delicious, and fantastic. I like every part of a meal. It has its wonderful starters, its extenders, and its extenders. Here for you, I have this wonderful deck profile. You're probably thinking, right? Why would I play for high, right? And the only answer I can really give is, you pro dog, shut up. You probably, you probably shouldn't. Like, it's pretty bad. If I'm honest, it's, it's, it's pretty bad. But that won't stop the tootsie, the tootsies from rising up. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, without further ado, let's get into the feed deck profile. We got, dog, shut up, shut up. Oh, thank you. Got three, beat, blazeman, blazeman for hire. Oh, you don't like for hires. Yeah, right. So we got three beat blazemen for hire, right? So this is like the only card in the deck. This is the only for hire, the only good for hire. Right? It's it's pretty terrible. No, it's actually it's really good. This, what am I saying? The deck's bad, but so we got three beat. Uh, <laughs> we got double kiss from the rose. Seal is my favorite musician. He was in that one Batman movie. He is very good. He adds back from Grave. Best best Batman movie. <laughs> but two Bravo. He's kind of bad, but he's a name, so you need him. Uh, two Recoon. He's pretty good. He he pops a set card, but I mean, yeah, like it's as good as it can be. It's as good as it can be. And we got two. This one's this one's pretty good. He pops face up, so it gets you your Folgo. Folgo draw three, and it gets you, you know, the only, the only thing annoying about it is that they're they're both beasts, uh, but we have an extra deck. Uh, we we have something for that in the extra deck. Don't worry, it's not an issue. And then we have two big boy, big footsies, big tootsies, big Raphael. Drop it. <laughs> He's very, he is super, super good. He's insanely strong. He's like a fat boy, and he's also a rank eight. Not a rank eight, a level eight, which lets you go into rank eights. So that's really good. And then the last of the four hires, we got the two. I mean, Philo's pretty good, but you only summon a Fogger, or you summon Beat a Fogger to search Philo. But you only need one hard ones per turn. And then Helmer's garbage. Helmer's, Helmer is trash. This. This monster sucks, uh, but it's a name, and so you need it. So yeah, like, Philo's whatever, like, no, Philo's like insane, my bad, Philo's insane, Philo's insane, but only someone will fogger, and then Helm was garbage, but it's a name, so you need it. And then you got double Danger McGraw, now this one's pretty good because it searches the other two, and I can't afford Jackalope, so this one's really good. Uh, then we've got two big fetus deletus. He's insane because he pops a card as well as being a 3k body and he's a level 8 for the extra deck. And then we have two Thunderbird. Oops, oop, oop. Thunderbird's kind of bad. Thunder, Thunderbird is just a level 8, big body. You know, like that's all That's all it's for. And then we have the last danger, Choop, because I can't afford Jackalope. So that's that's the danger package. It's pretty. It's pretty. Whatever. It's it's basically basically going second cheese because you're supposed to go second. So that, and then rounding off, almost rounding off the monsters, we have triple feet. Now this is the only art of Ash Blossom you can play, unless you're over eighteen, because then you're a sex offender. Because the feet, she she's only a young girl, and. After this, I should, I should have... Dog! Shut up! So, I should have the Shadal monsters. I should have a beast, a beast and dragon going over here. 
but I don't have them right now. They're in Uganda or something. You don't know the way. Do you know the way? So imagine, imagine, imagine just a dragon and a beast here, and then and then we're good. So that's that's the monsters. That's that's the monsters. And now moving on to spells, we've got triple mind control because this card's retarded. This card's so good. You, they have a crescendo. Doesn't matter. They're getting baited. They're getting baited. You know, you take you take that Galatea, and you you overlay your own ding dingy on top of that bitch. You you take it. You you eat that up. Then we got triple called by the grave. Cards retarded. Don't need to say anything about that. Then we have double desires because drawing double desires of desires is gay. Then we have what what should be triple. Should all fusion, but it's in the mail, so sorry. And then we have the you know the good old one ofs, Rota to search beat, and then reborn because it's a nuts card. Now, without further ado, the extra deck, the most important part of the fairies. So starting off the fairy lineup, we have Salomon, not so great Armourage. This this thing it seems pretty bad. But what you do is if you have, say you get Recoon and Domper and say, I don't know, Bravo. What you can do is whichever one you normal summon, you can link away for this. Oh, and then you have a Cyverse Beast and whatever. Instead of having two beasts, which stops you from going into Fogo, because Fogo is three different types. So this is really insane. Uh, IP, IP is if you're forced to go first or if you need to make one of your Link Force indestructible. So that's mainly all it is. Uh, nightmares. Service Phoenix. Service isn't mandatory. You can cut service if you want. And Phoenix is obviously so important, so relevant. Then we have Big Daddy Folgo. You'll only summon it once. If you if you have to summon it more than once, you're gonna lose. If you know if this doesn't facilitate, you've lost. That's just how it is. So yeah, you only need one. Uh, but he's insane. Every single game you start with Folgo. Folgo is insane. Then we have Unicorn, no explanation needed. Unicorn's retardedly good. BLS, BLS is insane. <laughs> all of these don't need an explanation. They're just also also broken. And the Link Fours, Boral Sword, Boral Load, Appaloosa, and Saryuya. Appaloosa is really if you're going first. And then these two, you 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 can cut Boral Load, but then you don't have an out to certain things like you know like. IP Muscarina infused Avramax. Like, you can't out that. So, borrow loads good for stuff like that. So, that does it for the links. That's the links. So, the X is we only have one. We have Dingy. Um, Dingy's. Dingy's Dingy. Dingy's nuts. He's rank 8. You also, run my, you also run mind control. So, you can take the enemy's Galatea and then slap your Dingy boy on top of it. It's. The card is so silly. It non target sends. Anyway, you know what it does. Um, your soul fusion targets, Gristia, uh, Big Shack, and then Construct should be here, but don't have Construct right now. Um, you can cut Grista, but I feel that just having. You you could probably add like Wendigo or whatever it's called as well, or, or this, but I just like Grista. I just think Grista is also good because it also helps you. Get your fat BLS if you need to go into it. So, yeah, that's that's why we run these. These are not the best, but they're good. They're good. They're as good as they need to be. All right, now side deck. Side deck is more or less whatever you want it to be. It's it could be fifteen of your favorite cuts. Okay, like it doesn't matter. It's just there for if you know for certain matchups and if you're forced to go first and stuff like that. So, you know, for combo decks we got Nibiru. Nibiru is Nibiru. Nibiru is so far beyond broken. It's ridiculous. It's so silly. And then we got three Lancia. Um, so basically, I didn't know that we weren't allowed to play Lancia's upside down. People often reference the um, that I'm a, that I'm so I'm actually really good with card tricks, so that's why, that so that's why and you know, it's all about the performance, right? It's, it's all about, you know, being entertained for the viewers. I didn't actually mean to have these upside down, uh, so yeah, um, you know, full respect to the judges, you know, they were fully understanding, you know, great people. 
Uh, anyway, we got... <laughs> Chokingly! Oh, we got three servers. This could be Dark Ruler no more. It probably will end up being Dark Ruler no more. But, you know, it's fine. It's good against Striker. Uh, then we have Triple Twinnies. Uh, yeah. Our uh, back red deck suck. In fact, your service could also be Red Reboot. It doesn't matter. And then three, I'm forced to go first, so I'll be a Degenerate. This is... This is... This card... It's not good enough to be on the ban list, but it's kind of retarded, so that's why we run it. No explanation needed. It is big, big dummy, big dummy card. Yeah. And that concludes this absolute dumpster fire of a deck. It's, it's pretty bad. I wouldn't recommend it. I probably built it wrong. It's probably, someone's probably going to tell me throwing Fangdora. You have to be an absolute wheelchair to run that card, by the way. Card sucks. Um, but anyway, this has been the, um, Uwu deck profile. I came 15th at my six man locals. It was really, really solid. I think I did really well. Um, so yeah, shout out to Nikijo Collectibles for being a good website and get all their, I get all their stuff from it. That's pretty good. Got, got, uh, got this terrible deck from them too. And yeah, that's it. My bad deck is done. <laughs>